Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we share how to upgrade the firmware of the Valeton GP200LT, the new features of the version 1.2.1, which is a pretty important update and I will try to answer some of the questions I have received in the comment section of my demo review of the GP200LT. Let's start! First of all, let's share how to upgrade the firmware. You have to go in the Valeton website and download the software 1.1.1. I have already downloaded the software. Obviously, you need to have the Valeton connected to your computer via a USB cable. Then, please launch the Valeton GP200 app. This is connecting obviously to the Valeton. Now you can go here in this section where there is written firmware update. You select the file previously downloaded from the Valeton website. Open update now. you have uh, the firmware updated let's check it out here global 1.2.1 that's great now the new firmware brings uh, some pretty interesting features we have uh, five new stereo delays uh, four stereo reverbs uh, two new distortion one new boost etc and now that we have the new firmware installed, let's answer some of your questions. The first question is how does the FX loop work? Well, basically before the firmware 1.2.1, the effect loop was in a fixed position just after the amp block. Now with the new firmware 1.2.1, you can now move the effect loop block freely which is uh, for sure a nice upgrade that put the LT in line with what the regular GP200 offers. In fact uh, here you can notice that you have these uh, images that you can move wherever you want and these are basically the send and return blocks. Second question, does the unit have delays with modulations? This is an interesting one, let's check it out, because you know, I'm a delay lover. Here we have the delays, um, B, D, B delays, no modulation, digital delays, no modulation, tape delay, Okay, here we have some modulation, as you can hear. the modulation on the repetition which is very nice ambience one also here we have the modulation
interesting Swift Eco. Chico, also here you have some nice modulation. I got a question also about the availability of a reverse echo and here you have it. Which is an easy one. Is there a power switch on the LT or is it the sort of unit that turns on when a cable is inserted? The LT does not have a power switch, it switches on automatically when you insert the power cable. Next question, is it possible to have two delays or two reverbs in the same 11 slot effect blocks? Does the unit have a reverse delay? Okay, we have answered as regard the reverse delay, the unit has a reverse delay, and uh, actually it is not possible to have many instances of the same block. So each block can be inserted only once in the signal chain. But there is this pre-block which can be many different effects and that you can move freely wherever you want. For instance, it can be a boost. So basically here I have a booster and a distortion. Or a wawa, an octaver. Next question. Do you have a link to all the amps, effects, etc. contained in the unit? You can check out uh, the Valeton website, then you can download the, the user manual and you have the list of amp effects, etc. How does the reverb sound? Okay, this is another interesting question. Let's switch off the delay and switch on the reverb. Room reverb. And you can hear that it is stereo. Oh. Church plate, which is my favorite one. Spring reverb. Spring Reverb Studio 
Here you have much more parameters and you have also the modulation that you can apply to the reverb. Pretty nice. Now with the delay it can become pretty interesting. This is kind of a delay, actually. And still. Very stereo sounding. Some nice modulations. And then, lastly, we have the shimmer. Okay, that's all for this video. I think this is a very interesting firmware update for the GP200 LT. These delays and reverbs are pretty nice. I like them. You have all that delays with the nice modulations, these very nice reverbs, pretty usable for ambient playing. So I think that this firmware upgrade, bringing new delays and bringing new reverbs add even more value to the GP200 LT. Obviously, let me know your opinions in the comment section below and if you have other questions you would like me to answer. We have now reached the end of this video, hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and leave a thumb up. If you're interested in my IRs or in my camper profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs online. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye.